Hello, hello, my creative stampers. How are you on this wonderful Monday night? And there is a huge football game going on right now. Uh, I personally am not a personal uh, uh, horn frog, but my sister, her son is, her husband's parents are, lots of longhorns. And I mean, not longhorns, horned frogs. I can't believe I said longhorns. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Anyways, purple horn frogs. <laughs> Everybody's rooting for TCU around here. Okay, but we are stamping because, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Y'all are so fun. Thank you so much for showing up with me on Monday night stamping. And I have a treat for you. I am pulling out my watercolor pencils. I haven't played with these in a while. Watercolor paper, watercolor pencils, and the new Dainty Delights stamp set and the free celebration dainty paper dainty flowers paper oh my gosh <laughs> i love this time of year celebration and new stamps and all this fun stuff hey there melanie and tanya and tony and deborah hello hello oh from australia deborah's from australia i love it well it's night here so it i know it's the next day for you is it afternoon maybe just morning i don't know i never can remember <laughs> Hey, Jean. Oh, and thank you so much for sharing, Jean. I really appreciate that. And Maria's here and Margaret. Oh my gosh, the names are popping up. I love it. Okay. Um, like I was saying, Celebration is going on right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Celebration in January and February, uh, Stampin' Up! gives away free stamps and free paperbacks with $50 orders. And there's a special Celebration uh, brochure that you uh, choose the items from that you want free. And uh, when you use this host code up here above my head, um, I will also send you a thank you gift at the end of the month. So you get a free celebration and a gift from me. So it's a great time of year to be shopping, stamping up. All right, let's get on with it. Move my block over here. Here we go. So we're doing watercolor uh, with the Dainty Delights. So let me pull the Dainty Delights real quick all those off. This is the Dainty Delights stamp set, okay? And it has coordinating dies. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a bouquet and we're going to use watercolor paper. We're going to create some watercolor wash and cut it out um, and create a bouquet. So that's what we're doing with that. And the Dainty Delights paper, oh, I accidentally put it away. What was I thinking? Okay, so this paper is free with a $50 order. So let me show you. I love it. First of all, it's, I don't, you can't really see it in, maybe you can see it a little bit on the video, but the, it, it looks like watercolor paper with watercolor, uh, pictures. And then you, of course, these you would cut out individually and use for bouquets on your card. And then I'm just going to flip real quick. Well, there's no real quick in my life is there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's the paper. Just look how beautiful that is. I just love it. Okay, so this paper is free with a $50 order for celebration. All right, I'm going to put that to the side. And these are my watercolor pencils. And I have got the colors from the paper pack. So I've got Night of Navy. Uh, well, it's early espresso, but um, and Cajun Craze. I wasn't sure which one would make a better color for the inside of the daisies, but we'll, we'll play with that in a minute. And I've got Daffodil Delight and Rich Razzleberry. All right. My card base is going to be Rich Razzleberry. Okay. Here's my card base. And I'm just doing a traditional eight and a half by five and a half. Okay. Now my designer series paper, um, I am, I'm not going to be using this side. I'm using the watercolor wash side. Okay. So we are going to do something a little different. Instead of covering the entire card front, I am leaving a quarter inch at the top and the bottom just to give it a little interest. Um, this is cut at four and a quarter by five. Okay. And then it's just centered top and bottom. So let me go ahead and tape that on there. And I know it's, it's so hard to not use all of these little bouquets, but I needed the watercolor wash. So there we go. And I also love that Knight of Navy paint splatter, too. That's way cool. All right. So that is my card base. I'm going to put this to the side. All right. We are going to build a bouquet. Now, 
I'm going to need my Stamparatus. And the reason why is because I am using an ink called Stazon, all right? This is an alcohol-based, they call it a solvent-based ink. That means um, it's permanent, okay? And water will not affect it. It won't run if you get water on it, okay? So it is the ink you use when you are watercoloring, okay? So that the black lines of your image don't go everywhere. They just stay put. But sometimes you don't always get a real good clear image on your stamp. Um, and so you want the Stamparatus so you can re-stamp. Here are the two stamps I'm going to be using out of the kit. So I've got this little bouquet here, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here also. All right. And I'm just going to pick that up with the Stamparatus and come over here and just ink those up. Now, the other thing is the solvent ink will stain your stamps, but if you... Um, clean them off quickly. Sometimes you can get it off before it stains. All right. So let's see. Oh, those were perfect images. So I can go ahead and get my stamp cleaner. Now we have an actual uh, stamp cleaner that will get these off. Um, but like I said, if you do it pretty quick, you can just use your regular water one. Um, see how it's coming off. But you have to do it really quick. If it dries... Um, it's just, it's stained. Okay. Good job. Can't believe I got that off there. <laughs> so that is a tip for you all. I love giving you all tips. Okay. And let me get all the water off of there. All right. I am finished with these two stamps. Um, actually I'm finished with this whole thing right now. So let me gently pull that off and I'm going to color. All right. So let's get this out Put this over here. And this is what's fun about watercolor pencils is you just color like regular, okay? So, um, oh gosh, <laughs> to decide what to color. All right, I'm gonna go with the Rich Razzleberry on these blooms, okay? And you don't even have to be that careful because you're gonna use the Aqua Painter to make it spread, okay? That's a green leaf, there's one. These look like closed up buds. This one looks like it's kind of opening. Okay, those look like closed up buds. This one's kind of opening. All right, then I need a green. I've got old olive. That's in the color palette. Ooh, my pencil needs sharpening, but that's all right. Okay, I love watercoloring with these pencils. It, it, you, when I pull out the aqua painter, you're going to go, oh, I never knew it was so easy. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally just scribbling. I'm not even being careful. I'm, I'm trying to stay inside the lines, but... Other than that, I'm just scribbling. I'm not not doing anything. Okay, so I've got that on there. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I apologize. Let me zoom in there for you. All right, there you can see it better. Now watch the magic. Okay, so I've got this aqua painter. And an aqua painter is just a paintbrush with water in the barrel. Now I do have a bowl of water over here on the side. But now watch this. I just barely touch it. I kind of shake my hand. And I just spread the ink. It is that easy. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so fun. Okay. So that's the rich razzleberry. There we go. And then dry that off and now come in and get all these old olives. Okay. So those buds probably should have been pink. They probably would have made more sense, but that's all right. We're going to be putting a lot of layers. So you're not even probably going to see those. These are going to be in the background. And then I've got some other fun, unique uh, te technique for you to create this bouquet. So it's more than just this. All right. So I've got that. Now I've got this one and this one, I am going to put some color, but I think I'm going to go with pink instead of that purpley color. Which one is this? Oh, it doesn't even tell me. I think this is flirty flamingo anyways. Uh, yeah. Flirty flamingo. Okay. And I'm just coloring these in. You know, I'm not a botanist. I have no idea what these things are. For all I know, they are, <laughs> they should be colored something totally different. But, you know, I don't care. I just want it to be pretty with color. Is that how you all are? 
I haven't even been looking at your comments. I've been coloring. Let me see. Do we have any questions? Remember, ah, what paper are you using? Good question, Heather. I have the Stampin' Up! watercolor. We sell watercolor back in the back of the catalog. Or if you don't, uh, if you want your watercolor paper like tonight, you can go to a craft store and get some watercolor paper. Um, I just buy everything from Stampin' Up! because, you know, I'm kind of biased that way. <laughs> Good question. So it's watercolor paper. And what else do we got? Any other questions? Not seeing anything. Got a lot of hellos and good mornings from Australia. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Um, remember, put a question mark or um, a cue. Lots of question marks, lots of cues, so I can find your question quickly as I scroll through the comments. Because I don't want to miss them. I want to answer your questions. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So that is all there was to it. So we're finished with that right now. Now we're not done with our watercolor pencils, but we're done with this. So let me move the water out of the way because I don't want to bump it and get it all over my table. And I'm pulling out my handy dandy. Ooh, zoom out. There we go. Uh, mini cut and emboss machine. And you know, I'm bringing this out because Stampin' Up! is giving these away free. When you sign up with Stampin' Up! this month, uh, January and February during celebration, you can choose to add this mini cut and boss machine onto your order. OMG. It's the best. So if you have little things um, to cut out, so for like, for instance here, uh, I've got these little bouquet pieces. So I'm going to put that on there for a sec, but I need the die. <laughs> it's like that's not gonna can't very well cut it out without the die. Let me find out. I think it's this one here with all the little kind of ooh, they're really stuck on there at first. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Now another thing I do is I when you have something that has to stay exactly in in place, um, it's cutting out an act an exact shape um, lines. Then use some washi tape to hold it down. Um, it just saves. The headache of having it slip while it goes through the machine and you having to start over. Okay, and it looks like I've got it pretty good. There we go. And just put that tape. Ah, and I go put the tape on there and I moved it. All right, let me come on, little fella. Get in place. There. Oh. Okay, there. All right, then now the other trick to the mini cut and boss machine is to stagger your plates. OK, don't don't put the plates in all lined up like this and try to go through the machine. It's it's too thick in the beginning. So kind of stagger them just a little bit, not very much, just enough so that the bottom one goes in first. And then it just pulls them through just like that. Okay, so we got that one done. And then let me pull that off of there. All right, so we have one piece of our bouquet. <laughs> now let's get the other piece. I'm going to switch dies. I love this kit, or this kit, I should call it a kit. Um, this uh, bundle, this bundle. Look. I mean, it just has so many pieces. I'm going to use quite a few tonight. Um, not too many or we'd be here till the morning. Um, but I'm going to use quite a few of these pieces and build our build ourselves a really pretty bouquet. All right. So we got our second one on there. There we go. Put it through. Kind of stagger it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. That to the side. All right. Okay. So now we have these two bouquets, two pieces of our bouquet. Let me put this back in here. There we go. Put that up there. Now let me get my card base back out. Here it is. All right. Here's my card base. Now I'm going to do a couple of things here. First of all, I have a sentiment that I have stamped on vellum. Okay. So I just took some vellum and I stamped the sentiment. Thank you for your kindness. And I'm just going to put this on here flat. Okay. Um, and then we're going to build the bouquet over here on the side. 
All right. Now I see that my S in kindness can go a little further to the edge. I want to go as far to the right as I can. So I have as much room to play with here on the left. And I'm going to lift that up. Uh, well, yeah, right there. Now, the trick to this is to add adhesive where it's going to get disguised back here behind the sentiment. So I'm getting out my glue dots. Where are my glue dots? And I use stays on on the vellum also, okay? So when you're stamping on vellum, it is a non-porous uh, surface. And so water-based things will just bead up and not dry easily. So um, the, the vellum and the uh, stays on, they work really well together. Okay. And like I said, I'm just kind of hiding these dots back behind the sentiment. Now this side doesn't really matter because you're going to be putting a big bouquet over it and you're not going to see it at all. So I can just put a couple over here. Come on. Get stick. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Now put that away. Get this on here. Okay. And yeah, I'm not putting it quite in the center. There's a little, little further to the bottom, but see, there's a glue dot there and a glue dot there, and you can hardly even see them at all because of the, well, you can't see it all because I'm not zoomed in enough. Good grief. There we go. Um, so I have a glue dot there and a glue dot there. And unless you're looking for those glue dots, you're just not going to see them. So that is the trick to adhering vellum onto card stock. Okay. And then um, I have a little extra here. I just need to trim off. There we go. Okay. Oh, and I meant to pull that over to, oh, well, I can't talk and make cards at the same time. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. I see some cues popping up. Uh, Joyce says, how do you clean the stays off on your stamp? All right. I was saying this earlier, Joyce. Um, when you stamp with your stays on, if you will immediately, don't let any time elapse. As soon as you have stamped and you're finished stamping, get out your stamp cleaner and rub the stays on off because it's still wet. And so it'll still get off. If it sits there too long, it will, it will stain your stamps. Now there is a solvent that you can use. We have a, oh gosh, I don't think we sell it anymore. Actually, it was a stamp and scrub and there was a little spray bottle with some uh, solution in it. And that, that gets it off really well. But um, yeah, I just, you, I just try to get it clean as fast as I can. And if I don't, then I'm just, I'm okay. I know it's stained, but I know it's not going to ruin my next stamp. So my next stamping project. All right. We've got these on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building my bouquet. So I am first going to put this one. So it goes almost up to the top of the card right there. And of course we need glue dots. So let me grab some more glue dots. And okay, right there. Huh. And right there, and then one more. Just pull that tag back. There we go. Let's put it right there. All right, so we've got that one. And like I said, we're going to put it pretty high to the top. There we go, like that. Now this next one, okay, and I just noticed something. There's a little piece right here that needs to pop out. Okay, um, this one is going a little further down, okay? And we're going to kind of tilt to the side. We don't want to cover up our sentiment, but we want our bouquet to keep going. So uh, this one has enough room for actual adhesive. But since I've got the glue dots out, I'm just going to use the glue dots. So put that one there. And now, uh, don't leave me yet because I am about to show you a really fun way to use your watercolor pencils and create some more pieces to this bouquet. All right, you ready? As soon as I get this down, we'll do that. All right, so I've got that, and I'm kind of going, tilting a little bit there. There we go. Ah, oh, looking awesome. Okay, so we've started our bouquet. Put this to the side. Now, what I'm going to do, 
and I've already started is I'm making some watercolor wash. All right. So I have some green over here for some leaves, some yellow. Here's the brown. I couldn't decide which would be better for the inside of the daisies. And here's the night of navy. So I'm going to get out the rich razzleberry and this is how this is done. So you just come in and color. Okay. And I'm going to have one big daisy there and a half a daisy here. All right. Now I just get my aqua painter and we have a nice fat aqua painter that makes this much faster. Um, and I just put some water on there and I wiggle it around in that fun. And I just kind of do, 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 there we go. And voila, we're done. That's all there is to it. Rinse out my brush. Got to let that dry, but my other ones are dry and I can go ahead and start cutting pieces out of that. So let me get my scissors here. I'm going to let that rich razzleberry dry, but I'm going to start with my green. Okay. And I'm going to use this big, long piece. Well, if I can get it off of here, it is really stuck. Come on. Woo. There we go. We're going to take this big, long piece. All right. Right there. And then um, I need two daisy stems, but we only have one stem. So we'll, I'll have to re do another stem in just a minute, but I'll put this stem right here and then I can use that extra space there for my other stem. So I'm just, these don't really have to be exact. They don't have to stay because it doesn't really matter, but um, I will go ahead and put it down. Let me get out my cut and boss machine again. Okay. And my plates. And, and the, how you do this is you just do the number one base plate a number two cut, and I, I designate this one for cutting only um, so that I can still see through this top one here. And then you want to stagger them apart. You don't want to try to shove all three in at the same time, one at a time. There we go. And as soon as it catches, come on, you can do this. Okay, hold on. Oh, excuse me. The um, That die right there, it needs to be pulled back a little bit. Okay, it doesn't like trying to go in with the plates all at once. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Got that one and that one. Yeah, like I said, this machine is great, except you just can't put a whole thick part in right at once. You have to stagger it so it, a little bit at a time goes in. And there we go. All right, we got that. And now look at how awesome this is. Y'all are going to love this. Now, another thing is um, you may want to put adhesive backing. Oh, heavens, I can't get this off of here. Hold on. Oh, my stem. That is one tiny stem. E gads. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, come here. Now I'm going to lose it. All right. Don't want to lose that stem. And then these way cool leaves. Okay. Awesome. Come on, get out of there. Oh, it's no wonder they call it dainty. It's so delicate. Oh my gosh. It's like so itty bitty. And it's got all these pieces that need to come out. All right. Woo. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. This is going to be such a beautiful card. Okay. I'm going to put this, just lay this on my card for a minute. And this stem, Lord have mercy, I do not want to lose that. <laughs> I need one more stem, though. So let me go ahead and do that. I probably should have cut some of these out before we started. I apologize. Um, sometimes I just don't think ahead. I did color ahead, but all right. Put this back out. How are we doing? Do I have any? Uh, Patty says stays on cleaner. Um, are y'all talking about cleaning your? Yeah. Um, Oh, question. What do you have around the glue dot roll to keep it intact? Oh, great question, Alda. Just a minute. Let me get this cut and I will show you. It is just a piece of twine. And all I did was tie it through the middle and around the top so that, so right here, so it's, whoops, so it's just a piece of twine I've just tied on there. And so that way, when I pull the wax paper back, it exposes the dots, okay? And it just keeps it, and then I can scoot it back over and like put all this wax paper back on 
so that my glue dots stay nice. Or of course, I'd probably tear off most of that wax paper. But yeah, it's just a simple little trick I learned years ago. Uh-oh, my knot's coming apart. Woo, well, okay. <laughs> Yikes, I played with it too much. Oh, fiddle dee dee. Well, darn. Okay, excuse me while I tie my knot back. All right, there it goes. Okay. All right, next, what's our next thing? All right, we did our leaves. Okay, the next one I want to do, this, I call it Queen Anne's Lace. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to cut it out in yellow. So get this, and here's the yellow that I cut. Okay, put that back over there, just here. There we go. Yep. I'm just, you have to tape it. If they slide around when you're trying to stagger the plates, they don't want to stay still. <laughs> so, <sighs> get my tape off of this one over here. Come on. There we go. Uh, there we go. Oh my goodness. So fun. Okay, got that. All right, now check out this dainty piece. Oh my goodness. Come on, get off of there. <laughs> so this kind of card, I would say, you're only making one of them. I mean, unless you want to sit and make, you know, 20 little Queen Anne laces and 20 of the things and 20 and make 20 cards that look like this. That would take a very long time, but it is so much fun to make big fun cards like this once in a while. I really do. I like spending the afternoon just kind of coming up with, with different things to do with, with the stamp set. All right. Um, let's see our next one. Now these two I can do together. This is the, I call it the blue bonnet shape. I didn't know what else to call it because, you know, I'm from Texas. And anyways, oh, uh, you can't see it when I go close to the camera. But anyways, let me zoom in. There it is. I say that looks like a blue bonnet. I don't know. It doesn't have a stamp to go with it. It's just a shape. So that's going to go there. And then my brown, these four little pieces, these are the centers of the daisies. Okay. And I am going to go with the... Um, that's the early espresso there. So let me grab a couple pieces of tape here. Quickly do this. All right, that goes there. And that one's going to go there. There we go. Get this piece on. Yay. And in you go. Come on. Ah. Go, 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 go. Ah. Don't have it staggered right. You know, it's just, you got to have it just staggered enough and not too much. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Come on. Oh, are you going to be ornery? It's going to be ornery. All right, let's try that. There it goes. Okay, it is. You really have to be careful not to have the die right up next to the rollers. It doesn't want to go through when it has a die right up next to it. So you're going to have to make sure you pull back on that. So getting all kinds of lessons on using the new mini cut and boss. Oh, and I didn't even tell you. So if you haven't seen the pictures, you can choose if you join Stampin' Up! and you choose to get the mini cut and boss machine, um, you can get it in boho blue, which boho blue is about that color right there. Um, it's gorgeous, but it's a new color that's coming out in uh, May. Okay. Every year we have five new colors. We call them the in colors. And uh, one of the new colors is called boho blue. I'm so excited. I love new in colors. Um, it's one of my favorite, my favorite things that Stampin' It does. It gives us new colors to play with. Now the colors only last two years. So um, this April, the beautiful, um, uh, soft succulent, evening evergreen, uh, pale papaya, fresh freesia, and 
uh, petal, uh, no, polished pink. Those are leaving. You won't, they're going to discontinue in May. Uh, you won't be able to get them anymore. So, and that is the bad thing about having in colors all the time is that they have to leave uh, the older, the old in colors have to leave. So, all right, I got this blue one here. I don't want to lose these pieces. They're so tiny. Okay, there they go. All right. Okay, we're almost done. We just have to do our daisies. All right, let's get those out. And this is the pink. So let me cut that off. And I have two daisies. I have the, hold on, let me put this back where it goes. Oh, no, actually, I think that one went there. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Okay, I have this big full daisy, okay? And then I have a half a daisy. Where'd the half daisy go? There we go. And the centers, there are two different centers. There's a center for the half daisy and for the full daisy. And they give you two of each, but they only give you one of each of the dies. So, well, there you go. Go figure, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, um, <sighs> okay. All right. So, so far tonight, we have learned that stays on ink is the ink you need when you are using watercolor pencils, okay? Or any watercolor, okay? You want stays on ink. And um, stays on ink, you can get it off your stamp if you get it off immediately. But if you don't get it off immediately, you need some kind of a stays on cleaner. And they do sell it in craft stores, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember seeing it in our catalog for a while. We used to sell it. Um, we might. I'm not sure. I'm. That's pretty bad that I can't remember. Thing is, I own mine. See, this is what mine looks like. There we go, right here. Stamp and mist. And um, so I haven't needed. I haven't needed to buy any because I don't use that much. Because I'm always using the regular ink pads. I hardly ever use stays on. Okay. Enough talking. Let's get this bouquet built. All right, we got all that there. Get all this out of the way. Get our card back out. We're almost done. Like I said, we're building a bouquet. Here we go. And I am going to zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little better. There we go. All right. This out of the way. And the first thing, these are going to, those will go on last. All right. These, and those are the stems for the daisies. These, this one is going to go on with glue dots. So let me get out my glue dots again. So it's going to be flat, but um, that's we are going to get some dimension in a little bit. Um, where's my pick a tool? Oh goodness! You know what? I wrapped all that wax paper around, and now there we go. Nope, it's still needing. <laughs> How far back? There it is. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this one on this leaf. That'll keep the bottom part down. Then the center area, put it on here. Okay, well, gosh. Another thing is glue dots stick to fake nails. I will warn you right now. It is like crazy how it sticks. And uh uh, uh, the photopolymer stamps stick to it too. It's just, it's a weird, weird thing. But anyways, all right, I got enough glue dots on there. Now this is just going to wrap around like this. Okay. Let's see. I don't want it too much into, yeah, I don't want to go over the card and I don't want to block the pretty colors. So there we go. That looks good. Looking good. All right. So we got that one on there. My next thing I want to put on here are the, um, the yellow, what I'm calling Queen Anne's lace. Okay. I'm going to put that on here and also the blue, blue bonnet. What did I do with the blue, blue bonnet? Here it is. Okay. So I want to put these on here. Um, these looks like I'm going to have to do glue because there's really no place for a glue dot. Oh my goodness. So when you're using glue, you just, you have to be really careful. You just want an itty bitty bit or it will squirt out and go everywhere. And then you'll have a real mess on your hands. So um, let me 
make sure it's coming out first. Okay. All right, just a little bit, hardly any. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to put this one um, over here. Okay. Just hold it for a sec. There we go. Looks good. And now take this one and get it started. Come on. I just got you started. There we go. I'm just trying desperately not to squeeze too hard. <laughs> it's it's a delicate, dainty work here. Okay, and then this one I'm going to put up kind of overlapping that. All right, so how fun is this bouquet? I am loving it. So, so far, so good. Now we need our daisies. Now our daisies are going to go up on dimensional. So, um, but before that, we're going to get these microscopic stems on. Oh, heavens, this is just silly. These are just ridiculously small. Yeah, you definitely probably want to do adhesive tape with these. <laughs> wow. All right, this one, I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to have a daisy right, actually a little higher up. Yeah, I want my daisy right there. Okay, so that's for one daisy. And like I said, I'm going to put that daisy on dimensionals. And then I need the other stem. Uh-oh, I had, oh, phew. <laughs> I thought I'd lost it. All right, let me see how we're doing. Okay, um, correction. We Oh, yay! Tony said she looked. It's on page 129. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tony. Yes, we do have it. Awesome. So do we still have the uh, scrubbing, the stamping scrub? that? Um, it's like a two-sided cleaning pad. One is for the cleaning and the other side's for the drying. Um, and it looks like um, Afro turf, but it's like black, not green. <laughs> Anyways, um, that is like the ultimate thing to clean off stays on. Okay. Susan from Melbourne, Australia. Hello, Maria. She just got her watercolor pencils. Oh, Maria, you're going to love watercolor pencils. I love it. Okay, Nicole says she's in a quandary. I want to create and watch Christina, but I need to finish putting together the shelves in the back room so I can access the art supplies. Oh, what shall I do? What shall I do? Oh, girl, <laughs> I hear you. Good thing these are recorded so you can watch the replay while you're putting the shelves together. Okay, awesome. I'm not seeing anything else, just a lot of hellos and people confirming, yes, the Stampin' Scrub is still there. Excellent. Good deal. And she knew this was going to be a beautiful card. All right. So um, we got this one on here. Have I put the glue on here? No, I have not. And the other thing about this green glue, if y'all haven't noticed, it dries sticky. It does not dry dry. I mean, it'll if you leave a residue sticking out like it squeezes out, that spot is going to be sticky forever. Okay. And um, this Daisy, where am I putting this one? Well, first of all, I need it to curve the other way. There we go. Cause I'm putting it down here. Yeah. Right there at the bottom of the blue bonnet. Okay. Like I said, <laughs> I'm a Texan girl. I say that's a blue bonnet. <laughs> okay. So far so good. The daisies and their little centers. Let me get the little centers up here. Where's the other little center? Okay, there we go. I didn't need, I'm only doing two daisies. And I chose to do the uh, Rich Razzleberry Daisy. Um, I think they're actually called cone flowers, even though they're, I don't know, pink daisies. <laughs> okay, uh, glue dots to put the centers on with, and then dimensionals to put them on the card. Whoa, yeah, that's right. It's like, oh, it's on the top of the card. Okay, and I, and of course, I have lost my tweezers, so, <coughs> excuse me, oh, man, I don't know, oh, yeah, forgot I got putty, <laughs> y'all don't know, oh, I'm not in the camera again, I'm sorry, <coughs> excuse me, um, your putty knife, if you don't have tweezers, is very helpful, okay, now this one, the flowers are going down, so this piece is going to stick up like that. Does that make sense? 
Okay, so um, I'm putting the glue dot on the back this time. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Come on, where are you? Come on. And actually, you really want to fold it in half if you can, because there's just hardly any spot for the glue dot. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then take your putty and turn it over because you want this side. There we go. And now come in here and place it. Ah, too low. Darn. Okay. Come on. Get up. How's that look? Oh, that's much better. Okay. All right. I guess it doesn't really matter. You could put it on top or the bottom. Now, you know what? I don't like that. It looks too little. It really needs to be like maybe on top. Okay. Take two. We're going to put it on top and see what happens. So I'm just taking my glue dot off of there and I'm going to put it over here. Okay. And now let's try it. Whoops. Turn over. <sighs> Being ornery. There we go. Now let's try it this way. The only thing is that glue dot is just too big. Okay. When you fail, try, try again. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm just, I'm not folding it in half this time. I'm going to lay it a little bit on the pink part of the daisy. Okay. Oh, come on. Stay. Actually, this would have been much easier if I had put it on the back of the brown piece. <laughs> okay. I give up. That's it. We're not doing any more. That's as, that's as far as it goes. I'll be here all night trying to be a perfectionist. <sighs> Last but not least, some mini dimensionals. Here we go. Come, come on. I'm really having difficulty here. See how that just stuck to my nail? There we go. Okay. There we go. And now get this one. Okay. No, oh, good deal. <laughs> and get the backs off. Okay. I am really missing my tweezers. Holy gamoli. All right. Okay, so that one is going to go there. Okay. Whew, we did it. And this one is going to go up here. Oh my gosh. Are y'all just loving this or what? What does it need? What does it need, you guys? It needs something. Help me out. How we doing? Yeah, Katie says, I really need... You know, Katie, I tore my craft room up. I cannot find my tweezers anywhere. Um, I remember distinctively using them over on the desk over here with when I was trying to put the new labels on my paper organizer. And I have just looked everywhere and I cannot find them. I'm so frustrated. I'm going to have to go buy some more, I guess. Um, anyways, what do you guys think? Oh, bling. Definitely, Maria. We definitely need bling. Let me grab some bling. Um, let's go with... Um, go with something fun. Oh, boring. No fun. Ooh. The iridescent pearls. I haven't used those in a long time. I don't know if they'll show up very well. Yeah, they will. They'll be pretty enough. Okay, definitely going to do that. Then I think it also needs some twine. It needs a bow. It needs a bow right there. All right, where is my thing here? And I'm going to put, put one up here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely needed bling. One down here. I need some little ones. Yeah, let's get some little ones in there. Um, there's a little one. And a little one over here. Need one more. There we go. Yay! Okay, so it's got bling. Love it. I love the iridescent pearls. Because I know you can't see it in the camera, but when you turn it, it like picks up the pinks and yellows and greens. It's really pretty. Okay, last but not least, some twine. And uh, see, will this gray look okay? Yeah. Vanilla black. Black would definitely show. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's the same color. That's my gray. Oh, I don't have my... You know what? I think I'm out of the, the tan, the linen thread. Oh, well. What do you guys think? Black or... Oh, Jackie says she loves my nails. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Linda, that's going to happen to me, too. She said, Linda said she lost her tweezers a couple weeks ago. She ordered some new ones, and then she found them behind her desk. Yep, that's going to happen to me. Oh, try them both together. Great idea, Margaret. All right, let's try them both together. Here we go. Just move that over there. Oh, come on. There we go. It's always so tricky to use two strings at the same time. Go. There we go. <laughs> now it's stuck on my finger. Come here. Ah. Oh, really? <laughs> Get off of there. Ah, oh, come on. There. Phew. <laughs> that was crazy. Totally crazy. Let's not do that again. Okay. Come here. Which side is pulling? There, that side's pulling. Okay, I give up. It's not going to do anymore. All right, where are my snips? Uh. Okay. Oh, thank you all so much for staying with me tonight. And um, remember, if you have not uh, participated in the card challenge, the card challenge is up over there on Creating with Christina. Uh, Facebook page and you can't miss it. It's pinned to the top of the page. So it's right there. Okay. And <laughs> once again, I'm having trouble with glue dots. Okay. There we go. Um, and we are doing shapes, uh, repeated shapes. So it's a lot of fun. Hell yes. I cannot wait to see what you all create with your colored pencils and your watercolors. This dainty, um, once again, this is the dainty uh, delight stamp set. It has a die coordinating dies and it has free paper. When you put in a $50 order, you can get the free matching paper. Okay. That's it for tonight. You guys are awesome. Love y'all so much. Scrolling real quick. Any more questions? I don't think so. I was trying to keep an eye on it. Good, good, good. Awesome. And thank y'all so much for letting me know that we still sell the cleanser for the stays on. Okay. Bye-bye you guys.